Welcome back. This is News File, it's your most authoritative news analysis platform. And here on News File, as always, we put Ghana first. And quickly, let me share something stake. Thereafter, we shall get into the VEX matters and look at what is happening across the country um, as far as the NPP's presidential uh, primaries is concerned. So, on my take, I title it VRA. Integrity is everything. Yes, integrity is everything. You would have seen and read and heard statements signed by the management of the VRA and also by Zoom Lyo. And in both statements is a categorical denial that Zoom Lion had been contracted to do any fumigation exercise in the Volta region communities affected by the Akosombo Dam spillage. In excess of 30,000 people have been affected. The nation is doing its best, including the state, to help these people. In the course of this unprecedented disaster, part of which some say is blamable on the VRA. The VRA's engineers have been talking to the nation. At one public event attended by several media houses, they publicly proclaimed that Zoom Lion had been contracted, they used the word contracted, to conduct fumigation exercises in some of these communities. Anasi Azore Awene, who has been following the fumigation exercises that the government contracts Zoom Lion to do, issued an article pointing out that this was yet another ploy to, to fleece the people, the public purse, because these all of the districts already have a standing fumigation contract with the Zoom Lion. And if there was need for any such thing, it would not be for a new contract to do the exercise, as happened during COVID. And then the VRA and the Zoom Lion issue statements trying to suggest that Manasseh was telling a lie. Listen to the VRA itself. VRA contracted Zoom Lion to carry out uh, fumigation and decontamination exercise at the areas where the water has receded significantly to make it safe for habitation again. That is the voice of the man at the VRA in charge of emergency preparedness coordination. His name is Engineer Kwame Osei Mensa Dakwa. He told the press, not one press, not one media entity, you heard him, the VRA has contracted Zoom Lion. So who wrote the statement from the VRA after Manasseh made the publication, raising alarm that this was a clear case of seeking to benefit by way of corruption again? 
because the fumigation exercises that were done during COVID, the entity had already been contracted. All assemblies had contracts with this same Zoom Lion to do these fumigation exercises. And we did another one and paid separately. Who wrote that statement from the VRE? Who wrote that statement from the Zoom Lion calling Manasseh a liar? If you have anyone to blame, it should be your emergency preparedness coordinator, engineer Kwame Osei Mensandakwa, who told the press that you had a contract with Zoom Lion. Why shift everything on Manasseh? Or like Manasseh says now, it is the case that his expose has led to you making a U10 because the people you have become aware that people know and they will come for you for this thing that smacks of corruption, daylight robbery of the public purse. On this very program, I interviewed the VRA's deputy chief executive. in charge of engineering and operations, Edward Echo Obain Kenzo. And he admitted that the VRA was not overwhelmed by the spillage and what has happened because they knew everything and they expected what has happened to happen. Listen to what he said, and I'll conclude my take. Would it. When it comes to competences and professional, professionalism of our staff, we are on top and uh, we knew what we were doing. Our forecast were on point and were exact as and we is a, and, and we're exact as we find ourselves uh, today. I won't say we're overwhelmed at all. Mm. Um, the decision taken to spill was to start in small volumes, also to at least monitor, because if I start in small volumes, um, going forward, in case there's no enough rain, I can just close my uh, spillway gate. I'll preserve my water in, in the dam and use it for power generation. In case the volumes continues to increase, then I can increase um, the spillway gate to discharge more water. We started with 20,000 cubic feet per second, which um, is the same as almost um, half of the volume that normally comes to all the systems if they are running. Uh, the banks of the river was not inundated. Uh, monitoring the data also showed that the rains were still coming. Uh, tracking the rain so that it was raining somewhere in, from the eastern part of the country, of the, of, uh, the east, eastern borders of our country into and the northern part from Burkina Faso. So which means that we have to increase the gate opening to contain the amount of water coming. So from the 15th September to start spill up to 30th September, the flooding in the communities was very, very minimal. We won't say that there was no inundation. There was slight inundation, but it was extremely minimal, which did not really affect uh, the communities that much. Uh, but with that also, with, with that said, um, when we did the simulation somewhere in May, which the communities were the actors of the simulation, um, were totally involved, uh, as uh, concluded, at least some will move when they see these uh, uh, volumes of water flowing through to safe havens, uh, to maybe friends and families and water. I ask even if they had a, an insurance policy they don't have. We are quiet. We feel this is OK. He didn't know that they have an insurance policy. That's what he said. So they don't have. Up to today, they haven't told us that they have any such policy. We are OK with it. That managers of such an important installation, which is dangerous at times, can say 
that they don't have an insurance cover for the people who potentially can be affected. And we are okay with it. On the Monday after this interview, the whole VRA held a press conference and suggested that they were overwhelmed. They didn't expect things to happen the way they had happened. So what was your deputy CRO, uh, P, uh, CEO doing? He wasn't aware, he didn't know. Integrity is everything. When you lose it, you've lost it. It's just like the EC. It's just been clarified that it is not some 25 constituencies that are about to be created, but only one, the Guan constituency. But do you blame the media when they said that was the expectation that was going to be about uh, 25 constituencies? The same person who clarified, Eric Bosmanasari, that it was only one constituency, has been public before this week that they were going to create a number of constituencies, including that constituency. We know people who have been preparing, lazing their boots for those new constituencies. Integrity is everything. And that's my take, Samson, uh, Samson's take. We'll be right back to get into the mud slinging in the NPP. We will also ask questions about the military brutality in Boku. Is it a war zone? And speak about the ex-men, uh, you know, ap appointees or people who had been affiliated with the NPP who are big wakes who have been speaking about unprecedented corruption. You have heard Professor Stephen Ade, Dr. Arthur Kennedy. Uh, you've heard um, Professor Frimpo Mboateng, former minister. You've heard others, Nyaho Nyaho Tamaklu. They've said that the corruption is stinking. What is the evidence? We'll be right back. <laughs>